Project Veritas drops second undercover video, Twitter engineers brag about banning pro-Trump accounts. Early Wednesday morning, Project Veritas revealed Twitter is willing to hand over President Trump's private messages to the Justice Department without a search warrant. O'Keefe's second undercover video shows Twitter employees talking about how they target pro-Trump accounts by banning them or hiding their content. O'Keefe released a video Wednesday afternoon warning about the next video release exposing Twitter. Tomorrow we have multiple employees at Twitter talking specifically how they censor people for their ideas and some of the engineering involved, O'Keefe said. Via Project Veritas Stephen Pierre Twitter engineer explains shadow banning, says it's going to ban a way of talking. Former Twitter software engineer Abhinav Vadrivu on shadow banning, they just think that no one is engaging with their content, when in reality, no one is seeing it. Former Twitter content review agent Mo Norai explains banning process, if it was a pro-Trump thing and I'm anti-Trump. I banned his whole account. It's at your discretion. When asked if banning process was an unwritten rule, nor I adds very. A lot of unwritten rules. It was never written it was more said. Olinda Hassan, policy manager for Twitter Trust and Safety explains, we're trying to downrank. Shitty people to not show up, we're working, that, on right now. Shadow banning to be used to stealthily target political views former Twitter engineer says, that's a thing. Censorship of certain political viewpoints to be automated via machine learning according to Twitter software engineer. Parne Singh, Twitter direct messaging engineer, on machine learning algorithms, you have like 5,000 keywords to describe a redneck. The majority of it are for Republicans. Video via Project Veritas On January 3, 2018 at a San Francisco restaurant, Abhinav Vadrivu, a former Twitter software engineer explains a strategy, called shadow banning, that to his knowledge, Twitter has employed. One strategy is to shadow ban so you have ultimate control. The idea of a shadow ban is that you ban someone but they don't know they've been banned, because they keep posting and no one sees their content. So they just think that no one is engaging with their content, when in reality, no one is seeing it. Twitter is in the process of automating censorship and banning, says Twitter software engineer Stephen Pierre on December 8 of 2017. Every single conversation is going to be rated by a machine and the machine is going to say whether or not it's a positive thing or a negative thing. And whether it's positive or negative doesn't, inaudible, it's more like if somebody's being aggressive or not. Right? Somebody's just cursing at somebody, whatever, whatever. They may have point, but it will just vanish. It's not going to ban the mindset, it's going to ban, like, a way of talking. Olin Hassan, a policy manager for Twitter's trust and safety team explains on December 15, 2017 at a Twitter holiday party that the development of a system of downranking shitty people is in the works. Yeah. That's something we're working on. It's something we're working on. We're trying to get the shitty people to not show up. It's a product thing we're working on right now. Former Twitter engineer Conrado Miranda confirms on December 1, 2017 that tools are already in place to censor pro-Trump or conservative content on the platform. When asked whether or not these capabilities exist, Miranda says, that's a thing. In a conversation with former Twitter content review agent Mono on May 16, 2017, we learned that in the past Twitter would manually ban or censor pro-Trump or conservative content. When asked about the process of banning accounts, nor I said, on stuff like that it was more discretion on your viewpoint, I guess how you felt about a particular matter. When asked to clarify if that process was automated nor I confirmed that it was not. Yeah, if they said this is, pro-Trump I don't want it because it offends me, this, that. And I say I bend this whole thing, and it goes over here and they are like, oh you know what? I don't like it too. You know what? Mo's right, let's go, let's carry on, what's next? Nori also revealed that more left-leaning content would go through their selection process with less political scrutiny, it would come through checked and then I would be like oh you know what? This is okay. Let it go.
Nora explains that this selection process wasn't exactly Twitter policy, but rather they were following unwritten rules from the top. A lot of unwritten rules, and being that we're in San Francisco, we're in California, very liberal, a very blue state. You had to be. I mean as a company you can't really say it because it would make you look bad, but behind closed doors are lots of rules. There was, I would say. Twitter was probably about 90% anti-Trump, maybe 99% anti-Trump. At a San Francisco bar on January 5th, Brand Acing details how the shadow banning algorithms targeting right-leaning are engineered. Yeah you look for Trump, or America, and you have like 5,000 keywords to describe a redneck. Then you look and parse all the messages, all the pictures, and then you look for stuff that matches that stuff. When asked if the majority of the algorithms are targeted against conservative or liberal users of Twitter, Singh said, I would say majority of it are for Republicans. Republicans. 